So we're going to be talking about how to improve your brain to make sure that you make more money online. Now, me and Carl do a lot of educational content and a lot of information is presented via video or long form content online. And this is a great way to learn. However, a lot of you are probably there trying to watch these videos and the information is going in your ear, coming straight back out the other side. And you're not really absorbing this information correctly. Why is that? And how can you improve that so you can learn a lot quicker? So here's a few things that I started off doing when I was trying to learn things online and how they helped me in the long run. So firstly, I started off with a combination of reading and listening to long form content. Now, like I just said, your long form content is probably going in one ear, coming straight out the other ear. Now, this is why I suggest doing reading at the start. Yes, reading slow, it's outdated, whereas working online, it's fast, there's new things coming out every 30 seconds on the internet, which has more information that is very valuable to you. However, you're gonna to struggle to read all of that content, especially if you can't stay focused or can't maintain that information. So reading a normal book is a very good way to start. Now I'm going to suggest a book in a minute, which will help you learn a lot faster, not just online, but in every topic that you go into and you want to learn. So this video will help you if you're in the OFM space or not. So that book that I read there was called Limitless. Now it has very unique views on how to learn faster and there are certain things in the book that will help you out in general day-to-day -day life. For example, speed reading. This was a massive thing for me. I was often taught to read very slowly so I understand the text, especially at school. However, as soon as I learned speed reading, I realized that the reason that I wasn't absorbing this information very well in the book was not because I was bad at reading, it was because I was going too slow. When I learned speed reading and started using it, I could read books 10 times quicker and I would absorb that information 10 times faster. When I was reading the book slowly, I got distracted, I wasn't focused because everything was so slow and boring, so I got distracted. So speed reading is a massive thing when it comes to absorbing information. And I recommend a lot of you to try and improve that learning method. Now in this book, Limitless, I would recommend reading the first chapter first, then going over to speed reading, and then coming back and reading the rest of the book. Speed reading, I believe, is around chapter eight. So you will be skipping a few chapters, but don't worry, you can come back and get through that book a lot faster. Now you are good at speed reading. Reading isn't that ineffective. It's still a good way of learning. However, it's not very modernized. So this is why we combine it with the next thing, which is long form content. This is what me and Carl do a lot of on our page. So if you did want to learn about OFM or AI or modeling, in fact, go check out our YouTube and the rest of the content will be on there to help you out. But the reason long form is so effective is not just because there's so many intelligent people out there presenting very important information in such a short period of time, but the fact that you can actually listen to long form content whilst you do other activities. So you could be cleaning right now. You could be driving right now. You could be doing anything right now and still be listening to me and learning. So that is why long form content is actually so superior in this new age of learning because you could learn from anywhere at any time just by listening. But like we said at the start, it goes in one ear and out the other, it's no good. So your brain needs to be tailored to be able to understand, listen and maintain that information so you can then progress. A lot of people think their brain is like a hard drive. They think that it has a maximum capacity and they often select certain bits of information out of let's say a mass of text just because they don't think they're gonna be able to remember it all. This is incorrect. Yes, it does help in certain areas if you are analyzing a text, let's say in an English class. However, when it comes to general understanding of a topic or a subject, this isn't gonna help you very much. So that is why you've got to look at it differently. Your brain is not a hard drive, your brain is a muscle. That muscle pretty much has an infinite capacity. Yes, you may not believe me, but it does. And the more you train a muscle, the stronger it gets. This is why reading is important, because it trains and grows your brain so it is bigger and stronger. Not literally, but you get what I mean. So therefore, when information is then presented to you, instead of selecting certain informations out because you're worried you're gonna reach capacity, what you actually do is summarize the whole text in your own understanding, and then that is then stored a lot more efficiently rather than taking out key points left, right, and center and trying to juggle loads of points from one complex text or situation or scenario. So this is another reason why reading and long form content are probably the best two things to start with. After that, I would then progress on to debate. So second point, debates. What the fuck do you mean by debates? What are you on about? What are debates? Who am I debating with? And why am I doing it? So a lot of the time, people have this saying where the best way to learn is to teach someone. I'm not sure if you've heard that saying before, but it's very true. 
If you teach someone information you have just learned, it's going to cement that information into your mind and you're going to have a better understanding of what you've just learned. So this means that if you are trying to learn something, or you're trying to understand a situation or a sector in a certain business, then debating it is a brilliant way of doing this. Now, I often do this with Cole, as you see on this channel, IFM Cole. Me and him, we always have conversations or debates or anything about a certain topic that we want to validate, that we want to cement into our minds and make sure we don't forget it. This isn't just business. This can be done in history, science, anything like that that interests you. Me and Carl have absolutely crazy conversations sometimes and we learn things off each other which I won't forget. I know loads of history facts and I don't know where the fuck I've learned that from because I've never actually read that much about history. However, it's from them conversations with Carl and that is just a brilliant way of one, improving your brain, two, improving your discussion and debate skills, which is actually extremely important when it comes to business and OFM, so it's very good. Three, learning to question things. People don't question things. They get given information and they just absorb it as if it was true. They don't question it or ask where it's come from or how they know that information. They just take it as true. So it teaches you to question things as well. I'd highly, highly recommend that you do this with a business partner or a community or a mentor, anything like this. Get amongst some people, have a debate. Even if at the end of the debate you both agree, you've still cemented that information that you know in your mind. And the last thing, I'll probably say one of the most important things, but it is the last thing I'm gonna mention. Obviously, there's hundreds of different ways of learning online and improving this ability to be able to learn, but I'm not gonna go over every single one of them because you don't wanna see me here for about an hour or two. That is definitely gonna give you a headache because my voice is boring. So the last thing you can do is optimize your health. Now, I'm sure a lot of you know this and a lot of you don't do it, but optimizing your health is actually one of the best ways to improve your brain. What this means is getting good, adequate sleep. This means decreasing your processed foods and all them carbohydrates that you have. Try to decrease them. Yes, you can have a pizza every now and then. Yes, you can have a beer, but don't do it all the time. Don't do it too regularly, especially with alcohol. So that's just gonna deteriorate your neurons. They're gonna be hard to grow back and it's not worth it. So try and avoid the alcohol, avoid the processed foods, and this will therefore allow you to be generally smarter and more intelligent. I mentioned sleep. If you have just learned something very complex, maybe have a sleep or a nap afterwards. This is because when you sleep, your brain can work more efficiently and repeat things a lot faster than if you're awake. I believe it's 20 times faster. So therefore, if you have learned something, and you want to cement that in your brain, go to sleep whilst thinking about that topic and your brain will repeat them facts over and over again, meaning that you know the information a lot better. This is often why when I'm learning, I normally sleep biphasically or polyphasically so that I can absorb that information slightly more effectively. And then the last one is repeat, 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 repeat. Now, if you have to watch this video 10 times, do it. You've got to watch it 20 times, do it. I wouldn't recommend doing it 20 times. I recommend doing it two, three times if you still don't know the information, do your own research or go talk to other people and have a debate because these things are actually going to help you learn and remember the information that I've told you today. So make sure you repeat the information that you'll learn, whether that is repeating that book you've just read, repeating the chapter, repeating that long form content, repeating that debate that you had with your mate. Do it over and over again till you learn and master what you are trying to to improve in. All of this is gonna help you get more money online because it's gonna make you a smarter human being and therefore meaning you're more likely to become successful. So use the information I've given you today and use it well.